So I just come back from Ragnar Oktoberfest 2019 a few days ago. I figured I should probably unpack my bags. I do have this tendency of just leaving them packed and months later I find stuff in them. And I thought I'd copy slash plagiarize slash be inspired by Mr. Nathan's unpacking video and make a little video as well since I seem to have more subscribers now and I should probably actually start making some content. So first up we have the Dark Zone Destructor. I did in my last trip get a command fire. Kind of didn't really like it uh, just with the way it didn't seem to like certain darts and just seemed to fire inconsistently and so I just gave it away to a local guy. But this one I have high hopes for. Then, yeah. Next, we've got the Rival Proceeds. This was actually my primary during Ragnarok Toberfest's Stalking Dead, but unfortunately I ran out of Rival Rounds really quite quickly and had to stash it in my bag for most of the time. Next we've got the Dart Zone Liberator. Uh, this is the one that's available, I believe, online only through Walmart, um, shotgun style. And this was meant to be my secondary. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, get to use it much because it jammed up. And I didn't realize there's actually a jam door switch thingamabob, which you press it and then you can get access to things. Funnily enough, probably should have read the instructions. And next is my Evader, which I was initially planning on using as my primary, but I was still a bit sketchy about whether it would fire reliably, so I decided not to use it. Uh, An obligatory sticker for the TSA to tell them that this is a toy gun. My Vorpal magazines, unfortunately they didn't quite make the journey back intact, uh, but that's nothing a little CA glue can't fix right. The Infinity Blaster, uh, which actually when I got to customs in Melbourne, Australia, I declared the blasters as firearms, just in case. And so when they had a look inside my bag, it was like that scene in The Matrix where you've got all these guns whooshing. And for the most part, it all came out okay. I was worried though when they came to this and it's like, what is that? Um, thankfully there was a supervisor who was all, yeah, nah, my uh, kids play with Nerf guns, it's fine. Um, I've not made a video, I figure um, Justin's MTB video more than suffices. It fairly much explains most of the things. Uh, I will note, however, perhaps, uh, for people who have been commenting, this was never a build about performance. Uh, I've not weighed it, but it's probably at least a good two kilograms. This is not a blaster you really want to actually be using in a match. It's heavy. I have used it in one match where I had one magazine, I fired it off and then gently placed it on the ground and went my way. And next is a sling fire. So this was a blaster that I'd gotten from uh, one of the vendors um, on the Sunday at the Superstock. I was uh, running one of the, or two of the mini games, 
and uh, when things got a bit quiet I wandered over there been kind of interested in one of these for a little while now I've had opportunities to get them before but for some reason haven't now I have one Rounding up this bag, we have one, two, three, four, five, six knockouts. Why do I need to get six? Why don't I need to get six? No. Realistically, I'll probably really only hang on to two of them. One I'll keep for firing rivals. The other um, to shoot half lengths. And the other four, I guess, because I figured um, people at home would probably be interested in one. Oh, this thing I got was pretty cool. I actually bought this in Australia before heading out. It's a dock for the Switch, but it's shaped like a little Nintendo 64. And then I guess rounding out the rest of this bag is this peep with a witch's hat, which May or may not have been intended for Alice Coat Duck initially, but she didn't have room in her luggage and I did. Okay, well, I'll just go grab the second bag now. Okay, so this is take two of bag number two because evidently I'd forgotten to press that little record button. The first thing and main part was the Dart Zone Pro. Now, when it first came out, or at least when it was first announced, it looked interesting enough, but I didn't really have any plans on buying one, mainly because it didn't really seem to fill a niche that wasn't already covered by one of my existing glasses, namely the Prophecy. The reason why I'd ordered this was as a bit of a joke slash stress buying, I'd bought it for someone else, only to discover they'd already ordered one. So I ended up with one. And then the next thing is the Battle Mace. Um, so this was effectively ended up being my primary during the Stalking Dead, uh, after I'd run out of a lot of rounds on the Percy's and and um, my Liberator got jammed up, I started running after zombies and using this. Got to the point where I managed to even get some of the zombies to fear me. Because I was a faction leader, I was essentially invincible. I couldn't be turned by the zombies until the very last act. Which meant a lot of me running around gleefully, going boop, 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 and giving boops to all and even got to one point where I'd taken down most of a pack of zombies with one survivor who was running off yelling what does the boop mean what does the boop mean so fun times had by all except maybe the zombies actually there's one more thing that I also got as a present at rag which was this awesome slurpy straw that I got from Thanticles. So, really looking forward to putting this in a blaster. It'll be awesome. So, before I head off, just a few thoughts on Ragnar Oktoberfest. As I said, uh, being part of 
the behind the scenes really made the event much more significant for me um, that uh, this wasn't just some little event that I flew nearly halfway across the world for uh, this was something that I uh, knew just how much work a lot of very dedicated people put into it uh, and this is in contrast with in war where yeah had a bit of fun admittedly though it was more catching up with friends and a little bit of nerfing stuff punctuated in between uh, but with end war i got a lot more out of it i think and i'm also a lot more exhausted as a result but it's the good kind of exhausted